much of the state. It's been snowing for hours, and Ann's got good advice. If yeah. you don't have to be on the road, stay off of it. Yeah, and great video of the yes. storm chaser driving through it. Pretty yeah. cool to see there, and glad that they're staying safe and doing so. Chris, you got some uh, decent snow totals behind you. Yeah, everyone on this list at least six inches of accumulation. A lot of that through Humboldt, Pocahontas counties, uh, to the north up towards Algona, and then down through Marshall County. You go down to Iowa Falls, six inches of accumulation. It is adding up, and it will continue to add up. What we've been seeing is this transition from rain to snow across the area. We'll show you again that different perspective, that vantage point using our debris tracker. I know that sounds a little bit silly since we use this during tornadoes, but it also shows us what kind of precipitation is falling and that area shaded in yellow is where we have that wintry mix. Ooh, let me clear that off and uh, and do that again, but that area shaded in yellow is where we have that wintry mix. So just be mindful of that as you uh, again move to the south along 35. That is where we have that icy mix. But for the most part, it has switched over to rain or uh, to snow for most of the metro up towards Perry, Adair, up through Ames. We've had heavy snow all day. Same thing in Fort Dodge and Marshalltown. That's what we've been seeing and watching. But look to the west. What's interesting is that transition line where it's been raining throughout the day and then a switch to sleet. The roads now are 100% covered between, say, Atlantic and Omaha. And that is just showing us it's ground verification, essentially, of what the radar is showing us. That transition line, this is the last place to switch to snow where uh, road conditions are deemed seasonal, which they're mostly wet in those areas. But even there, we are expecting a significant amount of accumulation once we see that switch from rain to snow. This looks like rain, right, hitting the lens, but it's not. The lens is heated, and that's ice crystals just melting and running off. But the roadways in West Des Moines are snow covered. The visibility is poor because of the heavier snow that is moving through the area. The temperature is 33 with that east wind at 11 at 20 uh, drops the wind chill to 24. And you see a bulldozer there making a pass, clearing out that access road to that parking lot. They're going to have a busy night. Anyone removing snow or treating the roadways by 6, 630 again in the next probably 20 minutes or so that rain snow line continuing to drop off to the south. By eight, I think the entire state is over to all snow. We advance it to nine o'clock. You have those darker shades of blue indicating where we have heavier snow through 11 o'clock. And then by midnight, that back edge starts to cruise south along 35. The last place to dry out will be along the state line at 5 a.m. down towards Lamoni. To the north, we start the day off with sunshine, and it's a quick clearing even off to the south. Additional snowfall, 6 to 9 inches in the area shaded in pink, 3 to 6 in that brighter white. The darker white is about 1 to 3, and then that gray color is a coating to an inch of accumulation a little bit closer into the metro from Ames down through, say, Waukee into West Des Moines, Des Moines out through Newton, down through uh, Indianola, expecting 6 to 9 inches from Garwin out towards I, uh, anywhere we're close to say Marshalltown, three to six inches of accumulation, and then from Crescent to Atlantic, one to three inches. The kind of snow that we're dealing with, it it's a workout to remove, but then it turns a lot lighter, a lot fluffier, and that will be a lot easier to remove as we go into the overnight. And then the snow wraps up and you'll have a nice day to clean up tomorrow. A little cold. You'll need to dress in layers with temperatures into the teens by Sunday. Some snow squalls during the afternoon with temperatures into the 20s, but then we warm up before an Arctic blast with temperatures Thursday staying in the single digits. Thank you.